I would like to thank Ash and Lewis for sending me sending me this story right here. Well, look who's come crawling on his ashy little knees begging people for money. None other than Richard Spencer. According to this article from Raw Story, he has to get a lawyer because he is being, well, he's trying to get an attorney. And he knows he has to pay legal fees for, I guess, one of his little unite the right rallies that he one of many that he had probably back in the past and now he has to pay some fees and he's begging people for twenty five thousand dollars now this coming from a guy who i thought had money well stolen money because if y'all remember a video i did last year i talked about how richard spencer and his family live on property that was stolen from black people and it's pretty much a lot of farmland that's like about worth, I think, like $2 million. You know, when you own farmland, you get nice government subsidies. And everyone loves those, should you receive them. But, yeah, he's asking and begging for money. So let's get into this article and find out why he's, exactly why he's looking for this money. White nationalist Richard Spencer is begging, begging for money. To hire an attorney as his legal and financial woes as his legal and financial woes continue to grow. Spencer is asking for $25,000 to defend himself in a federal lawsuit over the deadly Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville Right Wing Watch reported. So this is from last year. I am under attack and I need your help, please. You ain't no under no goddamn attack. You probably are under a financial attack from the sounds of it. Spencer said in the public appeal. Some of the biggest and baddest law firms in the United States are suing me, along with some other prominent figures in civil court. See, look, listen to what he just said. He said he is under attack for something that he helped lead and charge in Charlottesville last year that actually turned deadly. They're most likely getting at him because someone died, people got injured, it probably cost the city of Charlottesville thousands of dollars to clean all that stuff up and a whole and a host of other things that I don't even know went on down there. But he's saying he's under attack. See, this is the perfect thing. This is the perfect scenario of what I talk about and many others talk about when when we say white people, especially white people like Richard Spencer, do not know how to take accountability for their actions. This guy led a very racist um, riot, because I don't want to call it a rally. And now he feels that he is the victim of all of this. He feels that he is the one that is suffering the most. Amazing. Let's continue. Spencer recently had a falling out with his longtime lawyer, Kyle Bristow. This case is a conspiracy theory in the truest sense of that term, he argued. This is a mockery of justice. Put simply, they want to shut me and all of us down. No, they just want to shut you down. He argued the goal of the lawsuit is to take down the alt-right's most prominent spokesman, and that is me. It is now time for me to lawyer up, he said in a public YouTube video. Spencer, who has been banned from 26 countries, has been punched on the street for his views. Oh, that was amazing. But I didn't know, banned in 26 countries? Well, can they make the U.S. one of them so they can kick him out of here too? I'm curious to see, I'm curious to know what 26 countries he's banned in. I might pause the video right quick and see which countries those are. In October, three men were arrested for attempted homicide following a Spencer speech in Gainesville, Florida. Spencer's National Policy Institute bounced a $10,564 check to the University of Florida to rent the auditorium for his speech. Okay, so I looked up the 26 countries. Well, it doesn't list the actual countries, but here's the, here's the funny part. Y'all going to laugh at this one. It's two parts to this. One, the 26 countries that he's banned in are all in the continent of Europe, a place that is home to a lot of colonizers. It's practically their haven. Here's the other funny part about this. One of those countries is considered to be visa 
free. Which means you can come over from a foreign land and not need a visa to stay there. Or a green card, however you want to put it. How the hell do you get banned in the establishment that you claim to love so much and it's visa free? He's even been banned to come into certain, like have and host events in certain states. I think Maryland is one of them. Because they know what kind of attention this guy brings. He's nothing, he brings nothing but toxic energy in his way. He's like fucking Galactus. Everywhere he goes, it just usually ends in just utter uh, chaos. And he doesn't see that as an issue. But what he does see as an issue is that he's actually being sued for the actions of what he has done. He doesn't want to take accountability for his actions. He actually feels that they are wrong and that this is uncivilized and this is injustice to actually um, have him be held accountable for anything he's done in the last year. Well, I hope that no one helps him out, but something tells me somebody or somebody's will help him out. But I hope he continues to take as many L's as possible. And while he's taking those L's, hopefully he can take a couple of more hits to the face because I don't think he's been hit hard enough. But when when he has, and you know what's so funny? He claims that he loved, that he is all about loving his own and everything like that, but his own doesn't really love him. He hates black people, and well, black people for the most part, as far as I know, hate his ass too. But he claims that, you know, he's all for his people, but his people aren't for him. But he's created this atmosphere for himself he has no other choice but to just lay lie in that bed that he made but i'm still tripping off the being banned in 26 countries including one that is that's visa free that's funny i wish i had known about this months ago because the article was actually posted in november of last year i don't know how i missed that one but now you know y'all let me know what you think down in the comments like share subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next one